my god my friends i got me another donation from paul and ciso who wanted me to put venom black metal versus ravens all for one oddly enough these are two albums that uh i've had since my my youth and uh I was lucky enough to meet all three members of Venom. Yes, Cronus, Abaddon, and Mantis. Um, separately, though, I saw Venom Inc. and I, I got to meet, you know, Abaddon and Mantis. And then on the 70 Tons of Cruise, I got to meet Cronus. But e either way, it was it was awesome meeting them. And then Raven, off one. This album, pretty much changed my life back then man it's an album that i played a quadrillion times and then it was my first raven album and then i went backwards to wiped out and uh rock t drop and uh and i'm proud to say i'm actually friends with the gallagher brothers now because i met um mark gallagher at a cheap trick show where his wife came up to me and said, you look like you like heavy metal. I said, yeah, I'm a big metal fan. She's like, this is my husband, Mark Gallagher from Raven. I was like, oh my God, I couldn't believe it. You know, and uh, man, me and Mark, you know, we got to talking. We became very friendly that night that, you know, we were all the way up front. And I remember when, when uh, Cheap Trick would play TV Violence he would like nudge me. Oh man, they're playing. It was, it was just awesome. And the weird thing about that was I was going to go see Raven the very next week in uh, New Jersey. There was this um, hurricane relief concert. It was the Rods, a TT Quick reunion, Raven, Twisted Sister, uh, Anvil. So I went to the show and then I saw John Gallagher walking around. And I went up to him and I said, hey, John, man, I met your brother last week at a cheap trick show and this and that. And he goes, he told me about you. Come on with me. So he took me backstage. And there's Twisted Sister and Anvil, all these fucking bands. And he took me to Mark and Mark's like, there he is. And then after that, I ended up open for them in Pompano Beach. And I opened for them in um, Puerto Rico, my band Thrasher Die. And we become very friendly. And I just saw Raven like a few weeks ago and I walk into the club and then uh, John Gallagher comes up to me and goes, where's that money you owe me? <laughs> class, class, dude. Anyway, this Thursday on Almost Human Live, we're going to have John Gallagher on. So check out next Thursday on Almost Human Live uh, our John Gallagher interview. It'll be fun. All right, that's enough, that's enough talking about these both, both these bands. So let's get into it, Paul. All right, we start with Black Metal versus Take Control. Both both songs rule, but I got to go with Black Metal, man. Lay down your soul to the God rock and roll. All right, next, To Hell and Back versus Mind Over Metal. I got to go with uh, Raven. One thing I forgot to mention was Mind Over Metal, I heard before I bought uh, All For One because I have this amazing compilation album called Metal Hammer that had Mind Over Metal on it and I discovered so many other bands like Thunderfire was on there and Satan Anthrax uh, Metal Thrash and Mad <coughs> just a bunch of awesome awesome bands Cloven Hoof and yeah uh, Mind Over Metal this song made me go out and buy this album I still I still, I would have to put Mind Over Metal as my favorite favorite track all, all, for, all for one. All right, next, uh, Buried Alive versus Sledgehammer Rock. I got to go with Sledgehammer Rock because Buried Alive is just a little spoken word, you know? Then uh, Raise the Dead versus All for One. Man, Raise the Dead rules, but All for One rules a little bit harder. I'm giving that one All for One. Next. Teacher's Pet versus Run Silent, Run Deep. Both great, but I'm giving that one to Venom. Which, uh, yeah, I'm giving that to Venom. Love Run Silent, Run Deep, but I'm giving it to Venom. Next, Leave Me in Hell versus Hung, Drawn, and Quarter. Both great, but I gotta go with Raven on this one. Hung, Drawn, 
and caught on. What a killer tune. All right, next, Sacrifice versus We're Gonna Break. Break the Chains. I'm going with Raven, man. That song rules. All right, Heaven's on Fire versus Take It Away. I'm giving that to Heaven's on Fire. Now, side note about the song Heaven's on Fire. The first time, the first time it was ever played was on the 70 Tons of Metal Cruise. Uh, which, you know, it was only Cronus in the lineup. But, yeah, that, that night they played uh, Heaven's on Fire for the very first time. All right, next. Countess Bathory versus Seek and Destroy. They're both awesome, but come on, man. Countess Bathory. Classic. Badass tune. All right, don't don't burn the witch versus athletic rock. Both great, but I gotta go with don't burn the witch. All right, then there's that war with Satan preview, but the Raven album's done, so I guess we're not gonna put at war with Satan preview against anything. So Paul, this is the final score, and as you can see, it's a tie. And, uh, because they're both amazing. It's hard for either album to beat the other one. It's really hard because it's just both so classic. But thank you so much, Paul. You rule, brother. And everybody out there, you rule as well. And please subscribe to my channel. And, uh, ring the little notification bell. And, uh, like the video. It's good for the YouTube. Algorithms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack them. A gob.